Good day ladies and gents, this is gonna be one of my first videos in 2024 and we're gonna talk about the Tarkov settings in the patch 14.0. There's a couple of really important changes, so uh, stick your ears out and listen carefully. So generally I play on 2K resolution, uh, I'm using borderless even though you should be using full screen. If you are not using a streaming PC because on full screen you get better frames uh, and less input lag, I use this so I can tap out without problems, so use full screen if you can. Um, aspect ratio is up to you, I play on um, uh, full HD, full uh, 2K. Aspect ratio 16 to 9, some people use 16 to 10 or 5 to 4 or 4 to 3 to stretch their game, um, so their game looks like uh, the CSGO. Uh, a lot of pros uh, use stretch resolution in CSGO, but that's a topic for another day. And uh, let's move to the important settings. <clears throat> So, um, those are the two important settings that have been changed this wipe, object load quality and overall visibility, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later. And first of all, we're gonna talk about textures. Uh, textures are ge uh, generally the same as the last wipe, if you have a lower tier GPU, something like 2060 or um, um, 3050 Ti, you should play on low. Um, if you have something better, for example 3070, you should play on medium, and if you have something like 3070 Ti or 3080 uh, or 4070 Ti, you should play on high. Generally, higher texture quality consumes uh, more GPU usage, and it consumes more of your VRAM. I personally believe that you should never exceed your VRAM, that's the amount of RAM that's inside your GPU. Because uh, if you if you exceed your VRAM, for example, you have 8 gigs of VRAM, and the game asks for 9 gigs of VRAM, that RAM is going to be uh, that VRAM is going to be taken from the usual RAM, and like uh, it becomes uh, difficult for the system to uh, manage all of this. That can lead to um, frame losses as well as status. So I generally recommend everybody to make sure they don't go above their VRAM limit if that's possible. Since we talk a lot about the game settings which make your overall performance better and you generally enjoy the game more, I'm gonna talk about something else which will make your experience on Tarkov better. As you know, Tarkov servers are not being known for the best quality servers. Sometimes you might get ping issues, sometimes you will get packet loss. And generally, early wipe, it is really tough to find games as well as scav rates, since there's a lot of people playing. I generally spend like 10 minutes looking for a scav game. And I would recommend everybody to select as many servers as possible to get into the games fast. However, for some people, uh, the issue might be the ping. If your ping is too high, you cannot select specific servers. So there is an app that I use, it's called Gear Up Booster. You can try it out for free, you literally download it, log in using, using your Google account or you create one, and you can use it. Like, no no, no credit cards, uh, no nothing. You know, you download it and you can try it for free. So, um, whenever I um, used to boost my ping, you can see the difference uh, for, to, to all the servers. Let's look at Europe and NA. As you can see, my ping to Europe North is 40, Europe Central 65 and my ping to NA Northeast is 135. Let's activate the booster. And now my ping to US uh, is 106 and EU is 35 and 36. Since right now I have much lower ping, I can connect to more servers and have better experience as well for myself uh, and for the other players. Since my ping is less, there is less speaker's advantage, blah, blah, blah. Also, Gear Up, um, Gear Up adjusts uh, different servers based on the server you connect to. So every single time you connect to a different server uh, in the game, you can see which server you connected to. And Gear Up adjusts which uh, intermediate servers they use. So you get lower ping and no packet loss. Um, so yeah, Gear Up is a sponsor of this video, but I've been using them for quite a while. Try it out for free, and if you don't like it, just don't use it. It's a really convenient app, you just click one button and it reduces your ping by like 30-50 milliseconds. So give it a go. Uh, shadows quality, I put it on low. I generally don't feel like the shadows are very consistent in this game, and I've always had it on low quality. Uh, maybe I should give it like some additional tests to see if anything changed this wipe. I know that BSG disabled some of the darker shadows on Interchange. So Interchange so-called lighting have been changed. Um, as you can see right now, those corners look much lighter than they used in the previous wipe. And this is not to do with the new settings, this is to do with the fact that BSG made some of the textures a little bit brighter. And they disabled deep shadows. So there were deep shadows in those areas which made those corners super dark. And right now those shadows don't exist and therefore the map looks better. Alright, now to the important settings uh, this wipe. Object LED quality changes 
changes the distance um, at which objects render at higher quality. And um, overall visibility changes the distance at which objects render. For example, some small cans on the floor, some rubbish, um, maybe maybe a little, little holes in the ground. Uh, so the higher the number is, the longer the distance at which it's gonna, at which it's gonna render. And BSG manually lowered uh, the distance at which some of the textures render, at least on Streets of Tarkov. Uh, and since those two settings really increase your performance if you put them on low. If you put them on low, it increases your performance on three maps. Uh, Lighthouse, Streets um, and the new map uh, Ground Zero. I highly recommend everybody to put them on uh, minimum and see if that helps your frames. All right, let's move to anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing is a personal preference. If you like your game sharp, click uh, put it on off. If you like your edges to look smoother, put it on uh, FXAA or TAA. I personally use TAA. Um, that's it, uh, personal preference. Resampling, uh, resampling basically um, increases your resolution or decreases it if you downsample it. Uh, generally, you should put it on 1x. And uh, if you want to change your resolution, uh, use this option right there. So, uh, resampling always on 1x. NVIDIA DLSS is an option that will use AI to... Well, at first, first of all, game is gonna downscale your resolution and it's gonna use AI to upscale your resolution. So, for example, your game will be played at 720p, but with the help of AI, it's gonna upscale the resolution to Full HD. Um, overall, it, it leads to less stress on your GPU. So, if you have a lower tier of GPU, something like 3050 or 3060, and you wanna play sheets on high or medium settings, you can try to use NVIDIA DLSS on uh, quality or balanced to upscale your resolution and have better frames. Um, same things apply to AMD FSR uh, 1.0 and 2.2. Just this technology is from uh, AMD and you can use this tech on both GPUs. AMD and NVIDIA, while NVIDIA DLSS is available only for NVIDIA GPUs. HBAO is uh, to do with shadows. It leads to um, better, higher quality shadows. I generally don't use it because it leads to lower performance. And generally, I'm not the biggest fan of shadows in the game, uh, as you can tell. So HBAO, HBAO on off for better performance. SSR is uh, screen space reflections. Um, when they, whenever you have it on low, you or any, anything anything above off, you will see reflections on water, in different small ponds, or, 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 or of glass. If you have it on off, there will be no reflections available. So it does eat a little bit of performance, but if you put it on low, generally the vibes of the game are much, uh, much, much better, uh, especially when it rains. So I have it on low. Anisotropic filtering um, determines the quality of textures as they go further down the road. So if there are some lines or a road going far, 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 if you have anisotropic filtering on um, per texture or on on, it will lead to uh, better looking textures. Generally, I have it on off as it does affect performance a little bit. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency uh, leads to, as NVIDIA say, to a lower um, input lag. I have it on on or on on plus boost for one simple reason because this setting uncaps your frames whenever you have nvidia re reflex low latency on on or on on plus boost you can get as many frames as your cpu and your gpu can render so that's the reason why i have it on off personally i didn't feel too much difference on off and on in terms of input lag so it's up to you sharpness on 0 0.2 personal preference uh fps limits we can't really change it Regarding MIPS shimming, I've tried MIPS shimming a couple of times this wipe and I think BSG fixed it. Right now when you use MIPS shimming, you do not uh, need 25 or 30 seconds to load out of the raid while looking at the black screen. So if you have a lower tier GPU uh, and you don't want to overstress it, enable MIPS shimming. Same thing goes for Streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode. If you have a lower tier GPU, you can enable this setting um, to have lower quality textures on Streets of Tarkov that will also lead um, to the decreased load on your GPU and supposedly will lead to better frames uh, and less stutter. Quick update, I've done some testings and MIP shimming is not fixed this wipe. A couple of raids, it took me 40 plus seconds or like one and a half minutes plus to load out. So you will still get black screens at the end of the raid. And uh, apparently, judging from my chat, it can take you up to four minutes to load out of the raid. So if you use MIP shimming, be ready for those consequences. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is that whenever you turn on your PC, you can get into your buy settings. And if you haven't done this yet, don't forget to turn off your, don't forget to turn on 
your XMP mode for your RAM to make sure your RAM works at uh, maximum speed. Because if you get, uh, if you buy a new RAM and you install it, it doesn't straight away run at the highest speed, and you need to manually turn it on. So uh, search search the name of your motherboard and something like enable XMP profile. First thing. Second thing is uh, don't forget to disable uh, HT also known as multi-threading if you're using Intel because Tarkov is generally utilizing core 0 and core 1 on your CPU and if you have like 16 cores uh, there is no point in their utilization um, so yeah if you if you if you disable HT if you disable multi-threading it can lead to a little bit better frames and generally lower stress, uh, stress on your CPU so disable that in your BIOS too also right here in all the bottom settings you should disable everything except high color uh, because Z-Blur, chromatic abbreviations, noise, grass shadows, uh, they make the game look worse and they also lower your performance a little bit. Alright, let's talk a little bit about my post effects. Uh, this is what I use, I'm not gonna explain much, uh, feel free to copy it, see if it works out for you. And let's talk a little bit about controls. First of all, I wanna mention the healing um, control. I usually use my heels in slot 4 and you need to put it on release because when you put it on release you can hold the 4 button and use mouse scroll wheel to choose which part of the body you want to heal. So definitely have it on release and utilize this new uh, mechanic. We have a new mechanic added to the game that's called vaulting, you jump over small or medium obstacles. Um, it's set on continuous and you cannot change it so even if you want to put on a different button it's still going to be continuous. I left it on space for now just not to mess with my brain and uh, whenever BG is gonna fix it or change it I might come up with something new but generally I don't think it works too bad on space uh, you click on space and you let it go in order for your PMC to jump and you just run and hold space in order for your guy to use vaulting generally it's not the best uh, sorry it's not the worst combo so uh, I don't mind it too much yeah I'm using space uh, for vaulting and for jumping also this wipe I am playing on 69 FOV and uh, for God's sake, disable head bobbing. Please disable head bobbing. Put it on uh, 0.2, the minimal one. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up. I hope the settings will give you better frames. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.